Hello, and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill, and Battle Plan is an ongoing discussion of how we put our faith into action by practicing prayer plus, prayer plus action of some type. Our website is active-faith.org, and my email is stevehemphill1 at me.com. In our last episode, we talked uh, and told about how scripture changed the atmosphere for a high school counselor. Today, we're discussing how Victoria's nightmares returned. Jeremiah 3, verse 20, NLT says, But you have been unfaithful to me, you people of Israel. You've been like a faithless wife who leaves her husband. I, the Lord, have spoken. Ezekiel 39, 23, NLT. The nations will then know why Israel was sent into exile. It was punishment for their sin, for they were unfaithful to their God. Therefore, I turned away from them and let their enemies destroy them. So when Israel worshiped idols, God let their enemies conquer them. But when they repented, God sent a deliverer each time and they rebuilt the walls. Ezra 6, verse 3, NLT. In the first year of King Cyrus's reign, a decree was sent out concerning the temple of God at Jerusalem. Let the temple be rebuilt on the site where Jews used to offer their sacrifices using the original foundations. Its height will be 90 feet. Its width will be 90 feet. You know, um, one of the first stories that happened and I shared in my, in my presentations and also in my battle plan podcast was that Victoria came to me, um, heard I was writing a book on spiritual warfare and she was having terrifying demonic dreams every night. And um, she'd been on a mission trip overseas and she'd, she'd never had this happen before. And I suggested that uh, she might wanna try stakes with verses on them. And she did that. She stood them in the corners of her apartment and immediately the nightmare stopped and it led to the staking of her school. And one year after this happened and she'd not had any nightmares for a year, she called me on a Saturday morning and said, Steve, they're back. The nightmares are back and there's exactly, it was exactly 3 a.m. last night. It was exactly like before. It woke me up in a cold sweat at 3 a.m. on the nose. Uh, and I've already looked, the stakes are still in the corners of the apartment here. And I said, okay, let me make sure I understand You've had a whole year with no problems at all, no nightmares until last night. She said, that's right. And I've already checked. The stakes are still in the corners of my apartment. And then I thought about that a second. And I asked her, did you have any visitors in your apartment yesterday? There was dead silence on the phone for just a minute. And then she said, one, like she was mad at me, you know, sort of one. I had one. And I said, well, who was it? Well, it's a man. I'm sort of dating. And I said, okay, I don't want to know any details, but was there any physical contact? Yes, there was, but there won't be any more. I'm going to break up with him. I said, okay, you invited evil into your home. You did something that wasn't good. You need to call him and apologize and you repent of that. And you need to rebuild the walls like the Jews did when they would be unfaithful to God, disobey and worship idols. And he would let somebody conquer them and they would repent, turn back to him and rebuild the walls, put some more stakes out, rebuild the walls, recommit yourself, rededicate yourself to God. She did that. And immediately they stopped again. She only had them one night that time. And it's been years now and she doesn't have them anymore. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest that part of your personal battle plan might be to rebuild your relationship with God, which also rebuilds your walls of protection from fear, invasion, and theft, theft by the enemies of God. Maybe you could pray like this, Lord, show me what I need to change and discard and repent of so I can again be close to you. Renew my spirit, Lord, and let me receive your favor again. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time on Battle Plan, and we're going to talk about cancer and heaven. Keep praying because prayer works. God loves you, and I love you. Have a great day.